I felt like we all knew that he was going to die in prison. We know that. But I just felt that the sentencing judge Aquilina really did honor the victims. And, you know, the last one asked, what is the price? They should feel so proud of themselves that they have garnered this strength that I believe came from this sport of gymnastics that has allowed them to stand there with courage and truth and honor and dignity. I just feel like you need to come into the new age hurt people. We need to come into this century and that's called transparency, that's called having a team around your athletes, that's called uh, having people in place for them that they do trust and that will voice their opinions regardless of how small or insignificant we think they are. If it's important enough for someone to vo voice an opinion or to make a claim against something, then it's important for us adults to listen. And I feel like a lot of the companies, the universities, the colleges have embraced this in the last two decades, three decades, and it's time for the United States Gymnastics Federation to come into this day and age. There's no way gymnastics in this country can move forward with any type of secrecy from here on out. And so I don't think it's going to take long to reestablish a strong uh, charter for, use, uh, for gymnastics in our country. I don't think it's going to take long for us to rebuild. We've got great coaches. We have great athletes in this country. It's going to be better than ever. There is absolutely an amazing environment to help produce gr the greatest athletes in the world. And it doesn't have to evolve, involve abuse at any level.